Thomas and the Breakdown Train. Every day, the fat controller came to the station to catch his train. Hello, Thomas. He always said, "Remember to be patient. Don't let those trucks tease you." There were lots of trucks in the yard, and Thomas had to push and pull them into their right places. There was also a small coach and two strange things that his driver called cranes. That's the breakdown train, he told Thomas. The cranes are for lifting heavy things like engines and coaches and trucks. One day, Thomas was very busy in the yard. Suddenly, he heard an engine whistling, "Help! Help!" Thomas looked towards the line and saw a goods train come rushing through, much too fast. It was James, and he looked very frightened. He was screaming and whistling. His brake blocks were on fire. They're pushing me! They're pushing me! He panted, but the trucks were laughing. They were having lots of fun with James. Poor James went faster and faster. He was still whistling and calling for help as he disappeared down the line. I'd like to teach those trucks a lesson," said Thomas. Then came the alarm. "James is off the line! Fetch the breakdown train quickly!" shouted one of the men. Thomas was coupled onto the breakdown train, and off they went. Thomas worked his hardest. "Hurry! Hurry! Hurry!" he puffed. "Bother those trucks and their tricks! I hope poor James isn't hurt." They found James at a bend in the line. He was in a field with a cow looking at him. James's driver and the fireman were feeling him all over to see if he was hurt. "Never mind, James," they said. It wasn't your fault. It was those wooden bla- it was those wooden brakes they gave you. We always said they were no good. Thomas pushed the breakdown train alongside James. Then he pulled the unhurt trucks out of the way. Oh dear! Oh dear! They groaned. Serves you right. Serves you right. Puffed Thomas. He was hard at work puffing backwards and forwards all afternoon. This this will teach you a lesson. This will teach you a lesson. He told the trucks. They left the broken trucks, and then with two cranes, they put James back on the rails. He tried to move, but he couldn't. So Thomas helped him back to the shed. The fat controller was waiting anxiously for them. He smiled when he saw Thomas. Well, Thomas. He said, "I've heard all about it, and I'm very pleased with you. You are a really useful engine. James shall have some proper brakes and a new coat of paint." He said, "And Thomas, you shall have a branch line all to yourself." Oh, thank you, sir," said Thomas, feeling very proud. Now Thomas is as happy as can be. He has a branch line all to himself. And two coaches called Annie and Clarabel. They are both old and need new paint, but Thomas puffs proudly backwards and forwards with them all day. He is never lonely. His friends Edward and Hen, his friends Edward and Henry stop quite often to tell him the news. Gordon, the biggest and proudest engine, is always in a hurry, but he never forgets to say "poop poop," and Thomas always whistles "peep peep." In return.